What's going on, YouTube? Nice. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box. You got my man Otto and TiVo here, and we are going to do our quick thoughts on the DC fandom. I saw it live. Otto caught it live on the Rewind, and it was a good piece of fan service, I would say, after all the, uh, I guess, negative news, right, about DC yep. and everything that's happening. It's good to see some positivity. I mean, the giant 200 pound gorilla in the room was the whole thing about DC comics and the layoffs, which they didn't really talk about as they shouldn't. Right. And I think the Correct. fans were, this is uh throw you a bone to help you forget about it. And hopefully they get back on their feet and they started off big, right? Wonder woman 84. How That's incredible right. was that? What I thought was interesting was it was pre-recorded, but so you had the chance to watch it, but I thought the way they set it up was great. And I thought Patty Jenkins hit it a home run as far as a director and as far as how she was communicating with the people that she was working with. And you could tell that Patty Jenkins would be somebody, in my opinion, who was in a good leadership role and had a great relationship with these people. And you could tell that by the dialogue of everybody going around the panel. You know, that's really what I thought was like, this woman was brilliant and she is bringing this to life. And I'm sure you're going to bring this up, but who showed up during this panel, Tim? My first crush. Linda Carter showed oh up. Oh my I God. I think it was a surprise to most of the panel. First of all, uh, for those who are into video editing and, and live streaming and everything, DC uh, didn't use YouTube at all. It was embedded inside the DC fandom website. So really, it was like you were using their kind of whatever stream. I don't know what video streaming service they were using, but it was embedded into the website. It wasn't. They didn't link to YouTube, but like what San Diego Comic Con did. I mean, this made San Diego Comic Con look amateurish, to be it honest. It really did. And let's let's be straight though. This was the second time, so you know, the first guy was kind of like the rookie on the block, and they said, "Let's do this." But this was still really, really good, Tim. Yeah, I, mean, I like the hard. way they windowed everything on the videos and, yep. uh, and the way the introductions were. It was like a it was like a Zoom call on steroids. Is what yeah, it, it was. Really was. The panel was great. Uh, they had Chris Pine, uh, Pedro Pascal, uh, yep. Kristen Wiig, um, Hippolyta. I forgot her, the actress's name as well as uh, Robin Wright. Yep. Um, and Patty Jenkins was the moderator. And then she, I think she was a surprise. They brought in Linda Carter, Linda Carter. and they spent a good five, 10 minutes just talking about, and they all showed praise. And, and Linda Carter in her great, wonderful self said, you know what? All, all praise goes to you, Gal Gadot, and you, Patty Jenkins. You know, you guys have territory. I'm just the old Wonder Woman. But they all the cast gave homage to Linda Carter, and rightfully so. Right. You know, outside of Chris Reeves and um, Batman 66. Yep. Help me out here. Wasn't yep. Come on. Uh, Adam, Adam West. Adam West. Adam West, right? Yep. If you think Adam West, Chris Reeves, Linda and Carter. Linda Carter, that's the original uh Trinity, Trinity, the Holy Trinity yeah. for for TV and movies, right? That's at least we think, at least our generation. Yes, maybe even going that. older if you really think about the old school, like 1950s version of Superman. But nobody really, yeah. everybody thinks Christopher Reeves. Right. It was a great panel, uh, and then they showed the trailer, and I thought the trailer was pretty much more the same, but it got it showed a little bit more humor, and we yep. got to see Cheetah in we action. What did you think of that? That was good, and that's exactly the same thing I thought about it. It was the stuff that we've seen. But now we see Cheetah in her costume and we see the relationship. But also during that panel, when Gail Gadot and um, the actress that played the Cheetah were talking, you could definitely see the yin and the yang in their conversation as far as what they were saying about how it was to film all those scenes, to do everything together. And, you know, I'm absolutely sold on this. You know, it's just going to be absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to see it. It's just going to be magnificent to see on a big screen. Yeah, it really cool is they showed uh, Wonder Woman riding the white lightning again yes. with her lasso, which oh. I want to really see how that plays out. That looks incredible. Yep. Uh, the cheetah scenes were pretty cool. You finally see her fleshed out, for lack of a better word, yep. because I say flesh, it's ironic because she's covered in fur. But oh, right, anyway, right, good point. But you see her moving around and everything. And when it was cool is the end of the trailer is there's a couple new scenes at the very end where, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Chris Pine's character. Yep. Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers. Yeah. You know, yep. Steve. Um, that's not Steve Rogers. That's Captain America, man. Other, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. Wrong group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they show him getting dressed uh, in like 80s attire, right? And then, you yeah. know, the funny thing is, is he goes, he parachute pants? He goes, are people still using parachutes? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course, great, great. Us, we remember what parachute pants are. It's the pants that have like 10 zippers all 10 around. 10 zippers it, so. all over. They cling to yeah, it, you know? I, it's just good to see some humor in DC. Um, you know, in the past, you could say with the Man of Steel, Batman versus Superman, Justice League. Well, Justice League, man. But, you know, with Wonder Woman, with Aquaman, definitely with Shazam, you got to see more humor in these films. And uh, 
when we talk about the Batman, we're going to be the exact opposite of this. I don't think there's a bit right. of humor in that at all whatsoever. So those are our thoughts. What did you guys think of the Wonder Woman panel as well as the Wonder Woman trailer for uh, Wonder Woman 84? Tell us what you guys think. Leave a comment below.